What's up guys? Today I'm working on a 2014 Kia Sorento. Do it for replacing the thermostat housing on it. You know what I mean? That's a common problem on these right here. This thermostat housing right here. I actually got this one off, man. These are pain in the butt too. They ain't easy. They not easy to, you know what I mean? But man, it's a whole lot of, it's a whole lot of little stuff you gotta do. I mean, it's like seven places. You got your heater lines. You got, the, that goes to your, you got them two right there to go to your throttle body. Then you got, of course, your thermostat housing. And then down this way, you got something that goes to the radiator. So they ain't easy to do. You know what I mean? That's the new one. They should have offered these in aluminum from, from, I guess, 2010 all the way up to now. This is a common problem on these, man. I've replaced several of these, even on Hyundai's. You know, this is a Kia Sorento, you know, 2014. So, you know what I mean? And they crack right here. That's the crack. I highlighted the crack right there so you guys can see it. And you can see it in the inside too if i was a my phone may not be able to get it but it's all good man it's there you know what i mean and, you know we thought it was a heater hose at first and then she called me back out hey derek it's still it's still doing the same thing you know what i mean so i already knew i said well let's just replace the housing because it's plastic they're plastic you know the dealer cut costs on building these you know that's how the dealer is plastic is cheaper than aluminum so they figure hey we just and i don't believe they offer uh, all aluminum thermostat housing for these years. I mean, they would they would do good. They would sell them. They would sell a bunch of them because I'd rather go aluminum than all plastic any day. You know what I mean? But that, yeah, that's the crack right there. That's crack, guys. So, yeah, getting this on, and this ain't no easy job. Like I say, it took me about two hours just to get that one off, you know, just to get that off because all the, you know, the hose clamps, they were backwards. You know, you got them clamps. Some of them be backwards. I'd be like, God damn, do y'all, God damn. Say, how did the dealer even get off in there to put them clamps, them factory clamps on? And you got them backwards. You know what I mean? You can't get nothing in there. You know, what's the what, what's the secret to, to moving them that way? You know? But yeah, yeah, getting it together, man. I'm going to go ahead and get this one on. And man, I was just, you know, giving you guys something to kind of watch today, man. This is what I'm doing today. You know what I mean? You know, a lot of you guys, you know, if you want to keep up with me, man, just, you know what I mean? You know what to do. I ain't got to tell you. You know, I'm still doing my thing from 10 years ago. Still working on cars. Got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Whole bunch of cars going on, man. I'm working on that trailer right there. We're finishing it now, the ramp. Uh, this is a race car trailer. This is my buddy. He always has a race car in this here. So uh, what I'm doing is repairing this here for him. The ramp had rusted. Mother Nature had rusted the ramp real bad. So uh, we went ahead and just cut it. And... Uh, you can see right now we we brace some areas and stuff. We're gonna weld it back up, and uh, we're gonna weld the legs first on both legs, both of these on both sides. Then we're gonna shut it. And once we shut it, we're gonna do it in the center here, where where bow's at. We're gonna fix the bow. What we're gonna do is just push them in, tack them, tack them down, and then you know what I mean. It should be good. And then we can always go on the inside of the trailer too. We need to go on the inside of the trailer. We got doors. Got another door right here. Got a door in the back, so you know what I mean? I got to fix that for him. It is race season. He had to rent a trailer last week. He rented one. He was on my tail about that. So, yeah, he went to Evandale last week, tore his transmission up in his race car. So, you know what I mean? I got to get this one done for him because I think the guy charged him 300 bucks. That's for a Saturday and Sunday just to rent a trailer. And it had a winch on it. It was an 18-foot uh, dovetail with a winch. But this is his trailer. This is This is what he likes to take to the track, so... You know, he had, he came over and he grabbed all the stuff he had, two gallons of race fuel, uh, two cans of race fuel in here and some other stuff he came by and grabbed all that stuff uh, this weekend. But we're gonna finish it up, man. And uh, I got some other stuff going on. So I gotta finish this Malibu up. Gotta finish it up here, uh, get it together. I'm just on the brakes now. Just put some calipers and stuff on it. Gotta bleed it, get it together. And then uh, this is just for a customer, you know what I mean? So sometimes I like to have people come to me, you know what I mean? I am still do mobile work. I still do mobile work and everything. That's cool. You know, I still go to people's houses. Been doing that for years. But sometimes I like to have people come to me. You know, I'm blessed to have people able, you know what I mean? I got property out here in Cove, so you know what I mean? The Central Texas, so I'm able to have people just come by. You see, I got my building structure and everything. So I got them structured out here. I got my trucks and... That's what I do. That's my other helper right there. But yeah, yeah. Getting back on this 2014 Kia Sorento. Gonna finish this piece for this customer. 
you know what I mean? She was real happy I found I found the problem. So I sent her pictures of this piece here. So she was real excited about that. You know what I mean? You know, hey, it wasn't a waste of money. It's always satisfying when you know you didn't waste no money on something. That's always satisfying. But yeah, man, I'm out, man. Y'all uh, subscribe to me, man. You know, keep up with me. Hey, take care. All right, I cut y'all back on. Uh, we got the new one on. We got the new housing on. Like I say, but you know, things go back together faster than you take them apart. I believe in that, man. You know, it always happens for me, at least. You know what I mean? I always put stuff parts back on faster than I take parts of, apart. So, yeah, there's the old one. Like I say, these should have been aluminum, but you can see that line in there. That's where that coolant was just coming up out of there. So, got the new one on. Uh, got some stuff I got to finish up. I'm about to tackle uh, all of these plugs here. You can just move these out the way. These they got a bolt, a 10 millimeter bolt that goes to the bottom. But yeah, I got a front hoses, all the throttle body hoses on. I got that front. I got to put this radiator hose on. Still got some stuff I got to do in the back. I, I, I'm probably gonna find it easier. I'm gonna jack this up and uh, get up underneath it. There's a bottom hose that goes across. That goes across all the way across. Uh, you got to get so it pops in it has an o-ring and one 10 millimeter boat so uh, Probably end up getting that one from underneath, you know, it may be a little easier, but yeah These ain't these are tedious to put on. I mean, they're not hard. They're not hard But I mean they got a lot of hoses and and if the clamps are on like factory clamps what I did what I find easier on any vehicle I Always when I take something off, I put the clamps if I have to work on this vehicle in the future I, I got the clamps in position to where I can just use some needle nose and just, you know what I mean? Slide them back. You know, that goes from for the ease too. Uh, I always put my clamps facing outward so I can just use a pair, pair of needle nose and just boom, clamp them like that. Clamp them, turn them, slide them back. You know what I mean? Close them, turn them back. Like this one here, see how it's facing? I can close that with some needle nose like that, close it, and then I can, I can slide it back, slide it back, and then I can just pull the holes off. So, yeah, that's just a couple couple tips, man. But, yeah, yeah, got it got it done today, guys. She's going to be real excited about getting her vehicle back. And uh, I'm on to the next, man. I got a lot of other cars I got to work on. Some old cars, some newer vehicles. Uh, the Cadillac, the CTS, I need to move it tomorrow. So, I'll drop some more footage tomorrow. But, yeah, I'm going to finish this up, get it done, and uh, get far as I can. You know what I mean? It's already getting late in the day now. So if I don't finish it, I'll finish it up first thing in the morning. By noon, I'll be done. Fill it up with some coolant, some antifreeze, and she'll be ready to pick it up. But I appreciate you guys watching, man. Everybody be safe.